Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. This is Chris Grabowski. I just wanted to take you through a short demonstration of the VIP 3000 talking thermostat. This is not one of the newer thermostats that connects to the internet like the Nest or the Honey Honeywell. This is just a talking uh, thermostat that controls your heat and your cooling. On the front, on the left side, you have two buttons. The one is your help button and the other one is your status button. Basically the help button gives you uh, phone numbers and information as to who you purchased your uh, talking thermostat from. If it was from your heating and cooling company, it's possible that their number is in there. This was purchased from speaktomecatalog.com and it in turn came from talkingthermostats.com. So when I press the help button, it's going to tell me If your heating or cooling system has stopped working, call your local HVAC service provider. If you have questions regarding the operation of this thermostat, call talkingthermostats.com at 763-591-9557. Underneath the help button, you have a status button. Indoor temperature is 65 degrees. The thermostat setting is heat 60 degrees. So it told you the indoor temperature, the thermostat setting, whether it was on heat, cool, or off, and the temperature that the thermostat is set for. Now, going towards the center, we have a screen with a tactile uh, ridge around the screen. It's totally uh, tactile. You can feel, run your finger around the square of the screen. On the right-hand side of the screen, we have an up arrow and a down arrow, and I believe it is a light button. And next to the light button, you have the speaker. So if I hit the up arrow key, If I hit the down arrow key, Heat 61. hit it again. Heat 60. Now, towards the lower portion of the thermostat on the right side, on the right edge, you'll find a little nudge that you can get your finger behind and just flip down. This exposes 10 buttons. You have two rows of four, and we have the time and date so this will actually if you press it once Sunday, 4, if you press it again do you want to change the day or time settings press yes or no so i'm actually going to press yes so that we can see how to do this and i'll tell you where yes is a little bit later press the up or down key to set minutes when finished press run so i'm going to hit the down arrow key 47. hit the up arrow key and press run. Press the up or down key to set the hour of the day. When finished, press run. And I can hit the up arrow key. 5 a.m. Down arrow key. 4 a.m. And I can hit run. Press the up or down key to set the day of the week. When finished, press run. Hit the up arrow key. Monday. Down arrow key. Sunday. And I'm going to hit run. So you've just set the time and the date. Next to the time and the date button, you have the program on or off button, and this will turn either the program on or off. Program is on. Program is off. Next to that, we have the weekend program button, and this steps you through uh, the morning, daytime, evening, and night settings for the program. To the right of that, you have the yes button. Next row down, you have cancel button, run button, week, day, program. And to the right of that, you have the no button. 
If you move further along, you find a ridge, that a vertical line that you can, it's very tactile. To the right of that, you have two more buttons. And the first button closest to the ridge is the fan on or fan auto button. So if I press it once, fan auto. if I press it again, fan on. I just turn the fan on, press it again, fan auto. the one to the right of that is how you turn your heating, cooling, or off. So I'm going to press it once. Heat. It announces the heat. If you press it again, off. it turns it off. You press it again. Cool. Turns cooling on. Press it again. Heat. And it turns the heat on. Now let's change the program. And I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to press the weekend button. I'm going to press yes. Press the up or down key to set wake time. Heat 68 degrees. Cool 78 degrees. 7.00 a.m. Press the up or down key to set minutes. When finished, press run. So it just told you the entire program, both heating and cooling, and then it told you the temperature that it was set, and it told you to use the up and down arrow key to set the minutes. So I don't want to really change the minutes, but I hit the up and down arrow key and I'm going to hit run. Press the up or down key to set the hour of the day. When finished, press run. So now we can press the up or down arrow keys to set the hour. 6 a.m. 7 a.m. 8 a.m. 9 a.m. 8 a.m. 7 a.m. Now I'm going to hit run, which is under the uh, program button. This is how you set the temperature for the heat. So, you know, when your furnace is on in the wintertime, you would set the heat. 67, 68. And then we hit run. Set cool. When finished, press run. And then we can set the cool by using the up and down arrow keys. 77, 78. And we can hit run. And then you basically step through the same exact way that we did the first one for each, the morning, the daytime, you know, each one of these four programming types. So I'm going to hit the uh, button that is under the time button. And I believe that is actually a cancel button. I got mine from speaktomecatalog.com. And you can also check it out at talkingthermostats.com who are the actual manufacturers of the thermostat and the installer that installed the thermostat told me that these are really really good um, thermostats. Hope you have enjoyed this recording and the contact information follows. The preceding program was a presentation of Mystic Access, where the magic is in learning. To contact, please visit www.mysticaccess.com or call 1-888-678-1433. You may also email chris at mysticaccess.com or follow on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash mysticaccess. Also, visit our podcast site at www.mysticaccesspodcast.com. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed the program. <laughs>